Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can um, do a quick prototype uh, of a web page right in the browser. So basically what you have to do, you have to right click on the page and click inspect and this is going to bring the uh, the web developers tool and uh, the section that you're looking for here is the elements tab and uh, here as you notice uh, when you hove over uh, uh, the code um, as soon as you put your mouse on top of the uh, of the of a specific element uh, the corresponding tag the corresponding element on the browser gets highlighted and if you select this element here and you come here to the web page and you have uh, you have over the, a specific element of the browser then the corresponding code section also gets highlighted uh, so if you right click on a specific element and click inspect uh, the web developers tool will open with that element uh, selected and so you can uh, for example let's say that I wanted to modify this p tag here so let's say that I wanted to modify the attribute I just right click edit attributes and I can change the ID for example and press enter um, I can edit HTML and that is going to uh, create an editor and um, it would allow me to edit the whole tag so I can enter let's say this is a tutorial and then I press and then uh, I select in, outside the uh, the editor and as you can see now the modification tech effect uh, right there in the browser remember the browser um, when you open a web page um, the browser what it does it uh, it downloads the HTML code and it renders that code onto the browser uh, so once the code has been uh, rendered on the browser and you can actually uh, edit live the content of the web page but the fact that you are changing the content of the web page on the browser it doesn't mean that you change the content of the web page on the server from which you um, pull the web page from uh, there are two different things everything that you modify here is is being modified on the browser as soon as you refresh the page notice now that the modification is gone because you're really not making any changes all you're doing is changing uh, the render page on the browser I hope that makes sense uh, and so another thing that you can do for example going back to this p tag I'm gonna just gonna use it as an example. Another thing that you can do is to um, modify the formatting and the style of the page. So if you notice here in this section, uh, we have the style section. I'm gonna go over to the to what I consider the the most important things. Although the web developers um, tool has a lot of different tabs and a lot of different things that you can uh, that you can do with it all of them very useful but anyways if you select a specific element notice here in the style section that you have uh, this element style tag open and you can uh, click on it and automatically it'll give you this blinking cursor which you can add styles to that specific element Let's say, for example, that I wanted to change the uh, the color of the text to white. So I say color, and um, white is in hexadecimal is the F six um, F. And as you can see, as I enter the code, it changes the the style or the color of the text. Um, and also, let's put in here. Um, and so another thing is that when you select that specific tag, all the styles that show uh, on the style section 
are uh, rules that apply to that specific element. Uh, for example, notice now that here it says P margin top zero, margin bottom one rem, uh, box size, and next to the uh, next to the, the the CSS rule for that element, there is a link to the uh, to the file where those uh, CSS uh, rules are, are contained. For example, let's say that I'm going to click on the body section and notice uh, that I have a, a background color uh, CSS rule with the specific color of the background of the page that applies to the body section. And next to it, there is a style.css file that if I click on it, it is going to open the style.css file and all the rules contained in it. So you can also make modifications. Um, so that is one thing that I wanted to uh, to cover. Um, another thing is, uh, for example, let me inspect this. Also notice that uh, when you select an element, you get this uh, uh, the the border, the margin, uh, and the padding for that specific element in this section here. And uh, that it's a that, I mean uh, this is a, a quick tutorial that I wanted to do on um, how to prototype. A, um, a web page right on the browser. Uh, you can make modifications. For example, let's say that I want to, um, I'm going to inspect the form. And if I click on the form, notice that uh, it's uh, set to column LG6 and I can change that attribute. And instead of six, let's say that I wanna make it four. And as soon as I press enter, um, notice now that the uh, that the size of the of the form now takes four uh, four columns, and uh, it used to be six. Uh, we can also add uh, attributes. Uh, for example. Let's say that for uh, for column uh, medium, we wanted to make it uh, also four, because notice now when the size of the uh, of the web page is a medium size, um, it goes all the way to six. So okay, here we go. Now medium size is four, and um, that's it. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope uh, you find the tutorial useful, and um, uh, and uh, as always, remember to subscribe and see you in the next video.